So we're at Energy Station in Harleysville. We've heard nothing but good things about this place and it's referred to us by several people now, uh, yes. especially starting to do reviews and stuff like that on YouTube. Uh, we've heard more and more people saying like, you gotta try Energy Station. So I'm curious, I've gotten a ton of uh, people telling us about their breakfast. I was eating that and the eggs benedict. Everything looks good. <laughs> but the one thing Colleen is gonna get is not available anymore. That's weird cake. Crawfish omelet. I've never even heard of that. Mm, that neither anyone I. doing it. I'm really sad. omelet with Cajun crawfish, mushrooms, scallions, parsley, cheddar cheese, and hot sauce. Hot sauce. That's Country interesting. Pie. Breakfast all day. That's a player. There we go. Build your own omelets. Build your own skillets. <laughs> their their breakfast favorites are all named after towns in the area. I'm leaning towards the Green Lane. What are you looking at? Anything yet? <laughs> I'm thinking the eggs Benedict Grand. or a skillet. I'm leaning towards the skillet just because I could he reheat it probably easier at, rather yeah. than egg spinach. Oh yeah, they'll get mushy. So there are two dippy eggs with Swiss cheese, potatoes, kielbasa, peppers, and onions <laughs> with rye bread. So oh. it's your build your own skillet. And I got the green lane, which is a short stack of pancakes. Those are huge. <laughs> two eggs, any style, two strips of bacon, and one piece of sausage. And I got a side of corned beef hash because I have to. And I also got, instead of regular coffee, a coffee milkshake. Oh, I just got done at Energy Station, and it was really good. Really good. I didn't good. film a whole lot in there because there was people right next to us. But uh, price was good. What were the prices? The milkshake, which was delicious, I took a sip, was four fifty. My build my own skillet was six seventy five. The green lane, which was massive, yeah, half of that is coming home with us, was seven oh five, and the side of corned beef hash was, was two ninety five. It was twenty one twenty five, and that was a huge breakfast. Half of it came home with us, um, and then tax, so it was twenty two fifty two. Your skillet was really good. Oh, it was I just delicious. had one bite of it, but. It was so good. It was actually really fresh. Um, everything in it was like a little chunkier, um, but you could tell. Yeah, it was tell thick it. cut. Everything yeah. was thick cut, not like minced. But it was so fresh. You could tell everything in it was just fresh and it's going to come home with me. And why I chose the skillet was because I take all my food home. So I knew it would be good reheated. So whoever in my house eats it, me or whoever gets a good reheated meal too. Yep. And my, you know, pancakes were good. Milkshake was good. Uh, Came with bacon and sausage and eggs. Obviously, I don't know if, you, if that's if anybody can actually mess those things up. But uh, the only thing that was questionable was the corned beef hash, which, like I've said in previous video, and I'll link that one down below. Uh, my opinions on corned beef hash. Um, so I get it while we're out for breakfast just to try it, but uh, it was mm, not not great. I wouldn't get it here again. But I'm I'm finding that I guess that's just the norm for corned beef hash, and yeah. that's what it is. And the person uh, who makes it the best, obviously, goes above and beyond. Um, so, uh, I might keep trying it here and there, but that was the only thing that was kind of a disappointment. And a shout out to Kelly H. Our server service was excellent. She was really nice. 
So on the receipt is our QR code, so you can scan that and it goes right to a point of sale online and you can mm -hmm. pay for your check right at the table and then it automatically adds percentages of tip so you can choose what you want to pay you know well it's 14 18 20 percent whatever and you can customize and put your own in there but uh you then you don't have to stand in line to even pay at the register because there was a long line of people paying uh, so i'm surprised there is a long people line there. didn't do the qr code or maybe yeah. they didn't look. Yeah, maybe they're just like... not looking at their receipts. It's not advertised in there. I, I always look at my receipt. So uh, I saw it and it said scan to pay your bill. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. So I did it. And I'm like, wow, more people should do that. And you can add the tip? Yeah. And you just, yeah, it's automatic. It's automatically set to 18%, I think. But you can choose 14, 20, or other and then add in your own. That was a neat thing to find out that restaurants can do that. And more of them should be doing that. Uh, convenience for the customer. Oh, um, so, a couple things. Uh, grab and go breakfast, I saw on their page and a little coffee station set up in there. So if you work local or if you're just in the area, they have grab and go breakfast sandwiches, like cash rounds, a little coffee set up um, that you can grab coffee to go. And also that's on their ice cream side that they have that set up. And then um, on their ice cream side, they have homemade ice cream. So I guess they have two different types. They have bring yeah, Lighty's brand. Yeah, Lighty's. They have two different menus, so it is separate. So you can, mm -hmm. so you know if you're getting the homemade or the Lighty's brand. But it looked uh, good. Yeah, the whole left side of the menu was homemade ice cream, and then the mm -hmm. right side was the Lighty's brand. I would ice bring cream. the family here. Oh, and they had frozen slushy drinks too. Oh, what yeah. was it? And peach a iced tea. A frozen iced tea. Yeah. <laughs> so that is Energy Station, and we'll definitely be be, be mm -hmm. back for sure. Last hike. Last hike. Uh -huh.